Hey everyone, welcome to another After Effect tutorial, first of all, I want to thanks all of you, we've hit 5000 subscribers. All of these have been enabled due to your love and support, so thank you very much. Anyway, today we are creating a corporate slideshow, for your corporate presentation, like this. So let's start it. First create a new composition, 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second. Change comp name, main comp. Then drag your image into the timeline. Resize your footage if required. Now create a new black solid. Hit T for opacity, and change opacity around 80%. Now select both layers and pre-compose them. Check to move all attributes into the new composition, change your comp name. Now we want to make some elements. So create a new composition. Change comp name shape elements. Now select text tool for mega elements. Hit zero for creating element. Adjust font size according to your choice. Now add wiggle expression for little movement in your elements. Hit T for opacity and add wiggle expression. Now duplicate elements three to four time. And make a line like this. Then select all elements and duplicate them. And move all duplicate elements horizontally. Duplicate your element several time like this. Now I want to add one more elements in between of these elements, so I am using cross for these elements, you are free to use any elements. Also add the same wiggle expression of these cross elements. I am skipping this part fast so that you don't have to wait. After doing all adjustment with these elements it's look like this. Now drag your elements comp into the main comp. And down elements comp opacity if you think it's too bright. So it's look like that. Now create new composition for our image slideshow. I just remain this comp name as shape, you are free to use any name, because I am not so good in renaming. Select rectangle tool and create a shape like this. Move anchor point center of shape layer. Now duplicate the shape layer, and move down. Make sure be careful not to gap between the two layers. Then select both shape and duplicate them, and move down. Now select all shape and move anchor point right side of shape layers. Go to timeline and hit S for scale. Then go to around 2 second forward and unlink the scale value and add a keyframes. Then go to first frame and change scale value 0%. So it's look like this. Select all keyframes and easy ease them. Go to graph editor and make your graph like this. Then select your keyframe one by one and offset your keyframes like this. I am skipping this part so that you don't have to wait. After doing all adjustment it's look like this. 
perfect. Go to main comp and drag shape comp into the main comp. One thing I forgot to do with background comp, add a fast blur on our background layer. Check repeat edge pixels, and blurriness, around 30. And also add tint effects so that look like black and white. Now go to project window and drag your footage into timeline below the shape layer. Resize your footage if required. Then select your footage and change track matte alpha matte, so it's look like this. Perfect. You can also pre-compose the your footage and change comp name image, and move all attributes into the new comp. Then change track matte alpha matte. Now create one more composition or one more element. Change comp size 1500 by 200 pixel. Select rectangle tool and create a rectangle like this. Make second line a little bit thicker than our first line. And last one more. You can change the color as you like. Now select all shape layers and move anchor point left side of shape. Then go to around one and half second forward and unlink the scale value. And add a keyframe. Then go to first frame and change the scale value 0%. Select all keyframe and easy ease them. Go to graph editor and make your graph like this. And move all keyframe offset like this. Change your comp name as you like. And drag into the timer line, and adjust line elements top of the image. Then duplicate the line comp and rotate and move bottom of the image. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now add some text elements, select text tool and type any text as you like. Then drag your footage into timeline below the text layer. And choose track matte alpha matte, here you can see the effect. You can also apply tint effect on your footage so that your footage convert into black and white image. Select image and hit P for position. Go to first frame and add a key point, and go to few frame forward and change the position. Then select text layer and hit P for position and add a key frame. Then go to first frame and move your text out of the frame. Select both keyframes and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. If your animation going slow, move your keyframe. It's look good to me. Now add one more text and change the font, also you can change the color of your font. Do the same animation as we do our last text element. Also offset the keyframe, so it's look like this. We can add little bit movement in our slide image, so open image comp. Select image and hit S for scale, and add a keyframe, 
Then go to few frames forward and increase scale size little bit. Now our animation has done. Hit zero for ender. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel. For more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.